And Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin today did confirm that the trade negotiations with China will not be wrapped up by the end of this month, as had been hoped for. And it turns out that while the protracted talks continue, our trade deficit with China has ballooned. Exports to China fell by 25 percent last year, while imports have skyrocketed. Jane Wells is at the Port of Los Angeles for us tonight. You're looking at the largest ship ever to dock at a North American port, capable of holding 19,000 standard containers. It's a giant symbol of how out of whack trade is between the U.S. and China since the tariff war began last year. With the more than 1.8 billion square feet of warehousing we have in Southern California, there's less than a 1% vacancy rate. Here's why. Imports from China surged last year, up $34 billion from the year before, while exports of U.S. goods plunged $10 billion. So much traffic has been coming in from China as companies front load ahead of even more potential tariffs. It's been great for the ports, but it's gummed up the works. Truckers are waiting longer. Railroads are spending a lot of money repositioning equipment. Cargo owners are carrying a lot of costs with the advance of inventories. And having all these imports come in and then sit, We've got thousands of containers of brake pads, keyboards just waiting. The Institute of International Finance estimates that U.S. companies are losing $40 billion a year because of the tariffs, and the ripple effects extend far beyond China. You guys have a good day. For example, last month at the World Ag Expo in California, alfalfa farmer Brooks Beeling complained his hay from Utah couldn't get to Saudi Arabia. We've had contracts signed in June, and the hay still hasn't moved. You know, a lot of it's been paid for, but they're still sitting in the barns because the ship, ship movement is pretty slow. Another reason exports are down is because of China's new environmental policies, which have slashed Chinese demand for things like recyclable plastic and paper. Which brings us back to this huge ship. One reason it's here is to help clear the port of empty containers to make room for the next boatload of goods from China. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells at the Port of Los Angeles. In other news, the number of Americans filing for first-time unemployment benefits rose to a four-week high last week. And while claims remain near all-time lows, some analysts have been concerned that a recent rise could signal a cooling of the labor market. Remember, last Friday, the Labor Department said the economy created just 20,000 jobs last month. That was well below expectations. But one area that is hiring is autos. There are more cars on the road than ever, and drivers are hanging onto them longer than ever. That means